everybody. Welcome back to the show. We are about to look at some beautiful pictures. Yeah, we are indeed and get a great story from Martin Prohoda. He is a Vancouver photographer who now lives in Mumbai full time and he joins us now after uh, hanging out in Vancouver. Home Hi, for a little while. Yes. How are you? Cold. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I grew up here and I, you forget how cold it is. I mean, now you've been in Mumbai for two years now living yeah. there. What yeah. made you decide to make the move? Um, well, there was a couple things. People ask me that a lot, but uh, mainly it's because I had been to India before. Uh, I really enjoyed India, and uh, the economy is kind of booming over there, so uh, I thought that would be a good place to, to you know, change things up. Nice. And well, and, and we're going to look at some of your photography, sure. and you do a lot of fashion and, and editorial photography as yeah. well, which we're going to look at. And is that a huge business over there? I mean, It is. It is. I mean, there's magazines starting up all the time over there. It's just, uh, it's really booming. And it's, and, you know, in, in, like I said to you guys before, India is not for everybody, mm -hmm. but yeah. and if you're a photographer, this is a place that's absolutely... It's obviously the place for you. Yeah. We're going to I mean, look at some it. of your fashion photography sure. to start off with. Yeah. Uh, tell us, first of all, about this picture Stop. and... Sure, this was a shot for Harper's, uh, and uh, this was shot in Hampi, which is in uh, southern India. And uh, it's very cool old temples and boulders, and it's just a fantastic place. It's well, not too far from Goa. And actually. you were talking, uh, you did a workshop here in town, and I a did. lot of the workshop was centered around your style of lighting, which, you know, that picture is a great indication. Yes, of. yes. So I do a workshop called Big Lights Far Away, and essentially what it is is teaching students how to balance ambient outdoor light yeah. with strobe light. And so, I mean, in that particular picture, you saw that the sky was sort of dramatic and underexposed. Right. And yeah. then you match the lighting on the subject. Oh, interesting. So it's, it's a way of sort of creating a higher dynamic range. Photo nerd, photo, photo nerd is what it is. But it, <laughs> it's I, totally I mean, photo nerd. When you learn how to do it, you yeah. know, the, it's so effective. It's, just it's effective, to and, it. and and what I tell my students is that it's a, it's a form of lighting that can make you much more marketable as a photographer. How oh, much does lighting play into photography? It's everything. <laughs> it's absolutely everything. Good to know. The short answer. It, it, it's it is absolutely everything. All there I mean, is to regardless it. Of, of what lights you use, I mean, you're still using ambient daylight, right? So right. It's, yeah. using light effectively is at the heart of photography. So then, and this wraps around the Mumbai question as well. How much is is uh, is it an advantage to to be a guy who the magazines are familiar with that works in an area that has such dramatic backgrounds, such beautiful uh, setting and stuff as well? Um, well, I mean, it's just yeah, it's it's fantastic backgrounds. Uh, there's a lot of logistic issues, though, with shooting outdoors in yes. India. Um, <laughs> yeah, security <laughs> issues. I mean, um, I was just saying, I was just saying to Darko that you know, coming back to Canada, um, it's such a, we're such a free society in a way. Right. We're, we're not harassed or we're not. Yeah. By, we take by that police. for granted a and lot. And you go I think. over to these parts of the world, and it's just like. Now we've just uh, gone past a couple of great pictures here. The one <sighs> of the dancer so is incredible, awesome. and this is one of my favorites here. It must be fun to work with playful subjects. Yes, obviously. this is my friend Paige. She's a yogini. Uh, she's from <laughs> Vancouver. And uh, we just uh, shot this. Uh, this is about three years old, this shot. And we went out to the uh, railroad tracks and, and uh, photographed that. Well, so it's and it's a nice uh, sort of combination of your two worlds as well. You know, Vancouver yeah. and, and Mumbai and, and yoga here yeah. has become such yes. a part of the culture. My wife is a yoga teacher as well. Yeah. So, and she's in India with me. Well, and we're going to so. see some, uh, some more photos. Tell of, us about these ones. Uh, this is, now, this fellow, Yogi's this is Swami Yogananda. And he's 102 years old. Get out. And he does yoga every day. I got to do some yoga. So, so any, anytime somebody says, uh, you know, I'm not flexible enough to do yoga. What? I, I show him this picture. I say, this guy's 102. And what are the benefits of yoga? This guy's 102. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, and he attributes his, his longevity to uh, And, and we've got a practice. couple of other yogis here. Uh, this this fellow looks rather happy. Yes, this is Yogi Vishwa. He's a very good friend of mine. And he has an ashram in Rishikesh. And he teaches, uh, he teaches yoga. Wow, and he's a, a really fantastic, happy, beautiful soul. And yeah. uh, I really enjoy well, spending time with him. Well, if only you could have captured that in the photograph. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and this is stunning as well. Right. And, and, you know, another indication of lighting and how important exactly, it is. Exactly, exactly. So this, this, this fellow is, um, uh, he's a Naga Baba, which is a naked a sadhu. And around the Kumela, which happens, it's a festival that happened last year. They uh, all kind of descend, these holy men descend on the Ganges uh, for this festival. So I photographed him and he's fully naked. Um, and just for his, you know, his hair is kind of covering him. And the color in the photo is beautiful right. too. Yeah. Again, it's that example of that underexposed sky and then matching it with light. Mm -hmm. So my assistant and I actually trekked around the Himalayas with a battery pack and a strobe light and a softbox, and it was. Does stuff like that become a, a signature? I mean, you're doing workshops and you're sort of sharing. I think it does. I think it does. It's got to be, you know, sort of something that's particular to you as well in your style. It is particular to me. I shoot that way a lot, but I absolutely don't mind sharing my knowledge because I don't think there are any secrets. I mean, yeah. 
Well, and it makes it better for everybody, right? You I know? think so. It brings up, you know, brings, brings up the whole brings thing. Brings up the quality. Now, we've got a lot of your photos that you do with uh, NGOs and right. such. Maybe we can look at these and you can tell us yeah. who these people are. Uh, and sure. Th this photograph was uh, taken in Gujarat in a tribal area. And uh, I, I saw this. I saw this sort of imagery of uh, you know you have Jesus Christ on the wall in the background there, and, and this kid was standing in front of it. And I said, do you know who this this guy is on the wall? And he says, no, not really, but he looked like a nice guy. So Aww. we put him up on the wall. So he hung a so, picture. Yeah, like, so we, he well, looks like a nice guy. guy. Yeah, he did look like a nice guy. And they had him all lit up and everything. Uh, you do quite a bit of work with uh, with NGOs yes, uh, when I you're do. there as well. Why is that for you? Um, it's it's you know I, I make a lot of my money in fashion and advertising. And so it's just about, um, you know, taking that abundance that comes from that and, and giving it to people that, you know, can't afford. Yeah. You know, well, and we're seeing um, kids and, and child labor is, is yeah, the, a big and, and factor. It's a, it's a in, big issue. Yeah. It's a big issue. I mean, the thing, the thing that's, you know, a lot of people say about India is the poverty, but it's not really the poverty that's shocking. It's the disparity between the wealth mm -hmm. and the poverty that's absolutely blows your mind. Do you find that the so. subjects are forthcoming to get their picture taken? I mean, these, these kids, kids are amazing. They look amazing. I mean, they have absolutely nothing. They live in they live in filth, they live in the slums. They, you know, they have no access to, to, to proper health or clean water, but they just run up to you and they're like these ferile little animals, right? And they're just like grabbing your lens and they're jumping all over you and I don't know. None of them are getting a PlayStation for Christmas, right? So yeah, it's yeah. like they're <laughs> But you can see the smile on their face. Oh, and but they're just so alive. Yeah. And it's sometimes I think something we we've lost in the West. I mean, we have so much. Yeah. And these kids have nothing and their their eyes are so bright and vivacious. They're beautiful children. Yeah. Well, and and uh, and and to use that skill that you have to communicate, you know, that sanctity of young life and yeah. and that it can get better. You know, there's a medium yeah. in there somewhere that Absolutely. I think we can all aim for. I mean, for me, for for me, for my photographs to be able to be used in any, any sort of fundraising. Uh, you know, event for these children or for brochures. I mean, I absolutely hands down give that. Yeah. Because because I work for this NGO called Child Reach. They're based out of the UK, and they fund advocacy for these kids. They fund you know health centers and they fund education. So they need publicity material to to. That's great. For well, their donors. So I absolutely you know. And how fascinating! That. I mean, someone who actually sees the work directly, right? You know, you're yeah. always looking for that endorsement for for someone who really understands what the work that's happening and that it's actually happening as right, well. Right, right. Uh, it's very rewarding work. Child Reach, is that? Child name? Reach. Okay. They're, they're based out of the UK. I don't have their website. I think it's childreach.uk, or you can yeah. Google it. But Yeah, we'll put it up on the, on Martin, the screen as well. Martin, thank you so, so much for coming. Thank if you, you want to find Gorgeous. out more, can people go to your website? Absolutely, yeah. Martin go to Martin. Martin. There it is on the screen for you right now if you want to find out more information about Martin and his photography. Very nice, man. We're going to take a break.